Hi everybody. Today we're going to go through the process of setting up web notifications on your site. You should have already created your Airship account and created your first app. Upon opening that app, you'll be taken to our Quick Start Guide. Going into the Quick Start Guide for web notifications, you'll be brought to this page to set up what your notifications will look like and ultimately where they link to. In this case, we're going to be using the Ship Store, which will link to our site, and we're using an image that we're hosting remotely. Once I've updated all of these settings, I'll hit the Update button, and I'll be given a link to download our SDK bundle. Additionally, it'll tell you to go to the Developer's Guide to follow the setup. Going to the Developer's Guide, one of the key things in here to pay attention to is that you're going to get a snippet.html file, as well as a file to add to your service worker. If you're unfamiliar with or haven't set up a service worker previously, we have documentation in here that will take you to Google's documentation on setting up service workers. One of the key parts of this is how to register a service worker, which is this line of code right here. Before we get started adding our service worker to our site, I figured we'd take a look at what we have currently. Here's our site, a retail site. And when I look at this site, there's a couple things I want to see to make sure that I don't currently have a service worker running. So the first is under applications, I can see that there's no service workers related to this domain. And then additionally under sources, there's no service worker listed here. Looking at the files that were downloaded as part of the SDK bundle, we have a pushworker.js and a snippet.html file. The pushworker.js you'll want to drag into your root file of your site. The snippet we'll want to add to our main pages on our site. In this case, I'm just going to add it to the index.html of my site. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, we'll want to take this snippet of code that Google provides around registering service workers and add that to the site as well. And then I need to make sure to change this to reference the service worker that we're using. In this case, pushworker.js. So we'll save that, and then we'll go back and reload our site. And you'll see now that the pushworker.js file is referenced in the sources, and we have an active pushworker running on our site. Generally, the next step would be to add in a function to your site to call for registration when users do something that would encourage them to sign up for notifications. For the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to call it from the console. So you can see that triggers the browser level opt-in. And now my Chrome browser has opted into those notifications. So now with the website closed and back on the Airship console, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this message. Go ahead and send that out now. And since I'm the only person who has access to that site, I'll be the only one who gets it. Now, once I receive the message, I can click on it. Even without the website open, it'll relaunch the site and deep link me back to wherever I directed the message to go. Thank you for following along. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.